Why do we learn history? Hmm. By whom this history is written already? Is it by victorious people? Or by someone who already want to write the truth so everyone else will understand the facts which this history is written for? Logically, do you think that someone lose some kind of battle will write, Oh my god, I lost the battle and I lost some kind of people? Do you think? You'll be naive. I'm sorry. But let's understand repeating history and the effects of history on our present should at least give us a glance of our future, how this future will look like. Do we repeat the same history every single time? And why do we repeat this history? So the question is again, why do we learn history that we are going to discuss in this video? So let's jump in. Let's go. A lot of questions we have related to history. Is learning history is for showing off in any conversation and show people how well we are educated and how we smart person we are? Is it to be afraid of its results all the time and spread hate everywhere because some culture or empire did something wrong years ago? Why really do you think that history is important to know? The question. How do you guarantee that your source of history is accurate? Is it because you trust your teachers so that means they are invincible from doing mistakes? or from even misleading you for some kind of, I don't know, agenda or something like this. So there are a lot of questions, but from my point of view, if you want to understand what is going on today, you should understand what happened already yesterday. You should try to search in different places, different sources, that if you really seeking the truth, not just satisfaction of what you hear is consistent with what you want to believe. The way to know the truth is a bit harder, but it is more worthy to work it, because learning the truth will make you able to judge carefully and correctly some events which affect you already. So history is events happening before sometimes we got born already which in most of cases written by victorious and sometimes and for sure some of them were good or some of them were bad things what happened in its context of time have reasons and motivations according to this time for that reason it is not properly to judge what happened in a specific point of time where you wasn't there and the conditions were different by your time where you live right now and you are not affected by the same conditions because you are not living in this history. History should taught us the mistakes happened before us. And our duty is to not repeating it again and again. Because what is the benefit of learning history? If we are insisting to repeat the same mistakes over and over. Think about it. Try to understand the lesson and to protect your present from the past mistakes. We are not the same people who did that mistake, so why we should repeat the same mistakes again and again? You should know and you should understand that you don't need to pay a mistake of your ancestors. If your ancestors did something wrong, so that's mistakes over their shoulders, not yours. So remember that you are free of their mistakes you shouldn't pay for it you shouldn't also accuse someone else 
by mistakes of his ancestors. So remember that very well because both of you wasn't there in this time to take that decision. So someone else took that decision. So why you should live the consequences of that decision? We should learn from history to make our present better because learning from history will make us understand the present make our future better so we should work together for that purpose is to make the future better and to not repeat historical mistakes because we wasn't there remember and try to learn the lesson history is to protect your future not to destroy it that's it